I am the living legend of hair loss and the true alpha male. I'm the most famous person you've ever known in your life that you watch three videos a day. And with that being said, speaking of people watching the videos, I have a faithful viewer named Jasmine Krajesterok, and I love the name. You had left a comment saying, quote, I'm curious, what kind of beard shampoo do you use? The best you have ever looked. So let's talk about that. Now, keeping in mind, if I was a company that sold products for men, I would totally be watching my channel and sending me free stuff. Amazingly, there's companies aren't doing that yet. I don't know why not, but it's not, it's not that I can't afford it. I can. It's just that from a, I come from a marketing background, so I'm thinking, why wouldn't we send this free, this guy's free stuff? So here's what happens. Here's what the free market has determined is happening. My wife buys most of our stuff at Marshalls, and you know that's where you can get more expensive stuff for maybe even as cheap as Walmart. And I was recently at Marshalls and picked this up. It is made by a brand called the Scottish Fine Soaps Company, established 1974. Whiskey soap, I guess rusty nail is the, is the line, classic cocktail blend, finest triple milled soap uh, made in Scotland. Notes of honey, herbs, and spices. And of course, I, what I want you to do real quick, just put your nose as close as you can to the screen and go ahead and activate the scent. If you've got the new iPhone, it's got like the scent sensor. You go ahead and press the button, yeah. Okay, you ready? Now that the scent activator is on your phone, make sure that you put your nose right up to the, I think you, is it like what on this part of the screen where just make sure that you have it just right. Yeah, okay, do that. Okay, here we go. So I want you to smell this. Do you smell that? I mean, man, it, that already sells the product right there. And you're like, wait, why is it kind of gooey looking? Well, because I've been using this and I put it in the box so that you know what it looks like. But ultimately, yes, I've been using it for like two weeks. So that's why it's kind of gooey looking. But what I do is I, I wash my beard with this. I mean, it's funny because there's really not much hair to wash or worry about at this point, but I didn't want to use shampoo on my beard. <laughs> So when I saw this whiskey bar soap, I thought, now that's fun. That's how I want to smell. Uh, and this is a great masculine smell. I think with tea tree oil, that can be something that I sort of think maybe that's a little too much. That's a little bit jumping the shark when it comes to smelling like a man. But anything in the scope of, of whiskey, uh, to me, is the right balance there. So whiskey, soap, and it's funny because at Marshall's, this is just the one I picked up, but they have several more brands. Um, so maybe I'll eventually get to them. Unless the Scottish Fine Soaps one just want to keep sending me this, then I'd be happy to receive it and keep talking about it. Because it genuinely is what I what I use on my beard is this bar soap. I'm, I'm happy to do it. Now keep that in mind. It, te it, it definitely warns you on the box here for just for men, mustache and beard, not to use bar soap but I think that's more so right after you do the dye. You know, the next day, immediately I went back to my, my bar soap. So yeah, I mean, that's what I use. Whiskey scented or whatever <laughs> bar soap, I think is a good masculine balance. It's my personal favorite. So I'll uh, keep using this one, I guess, until this runs out and then I'll go back to Marshall's and get another one, $4, compare it $6. And I'm sure the original price tag was closer to 10. But hey, I mean, this is, this is good soap. I don't, uh, I'm, I'm happy to have this instead of some kind of, you know, cheap brand, $4 for this. And then, I mean, granted, I also use it to wash my body as, as, as well, uh, but specifically on the beard, it's like, man, this is what I want to smell. Closing thought, today at work, I turned to my coworker, Lori, and granted, she's, you know, in her 60s, so this is also funny too. I said, Lori, I just got to say something right now, I smell good. Your comments belong right here. 